Hello, this is Elizabeth with History Unboxed, and I'm here today to read you a story from Viking culture in the 9th century. This is a story about Thor and Loki, who you've probably heard of as they've remained to be popular icons in pop culture and entertainment to this day. They originated with the Vikings many centuries ago, and this is one of their stories where they travel to meet the giants. In this story, there's a second Loki, Utgard Loki, who is not to be confused with Thor's brother Loki. Utgard Loki is one of the giants. Part three. Upon seeing the four strangers, the giant said, why, this must be the god Thor. I really did not suppose that you were such a little fellow, Thor, but probably you are stronger than you look. Now, before you sit down at our table, you must each show some proof of your strength. Then Loki, who was very hungry, said he was sure he could eat more than anyone else. So the king called one of his giants to come forth, saying to Loki, If you can indeed eat more than any of my men, you will perform a great feat. A huge trough full of meat was brought in, and Loki began eating at one end, while the giant began at the other. They reached the center together, but Loki had only eaten the meat, while the giant had devoured meat, bone, trough, and all. The Alfie, the peasant boy, took his turn next and boasted that he was the fastest runner of them all. Oh, said the king, it will be a most wonderful feat if you can win a race against one of my men. The first time the Alfie ran the course, he kept ahead until near the end, when he was beaten by only a few yards. The second time, he came off worse. The third time, he was only halfway around when the giant reached his goal. Thor, however, was not all cast down by the failure of others, and he proposed to try a drinking match. So the king brought forth a long, drinkable horn, saying, My men usually empty this in one draught. If they are very thirsty, though sometimes they have to take two swallows, or even three. Then Thor put his lips to the horn and took one long, deep pull thinking he had surely emptied it. But to his surprise, the water only lowered a few inches. Again, he lifted the horn, feeling sure that he could empty it this time, but he did no better than before. The king said, You have left a great deal of your last drink. This made Thor try his very best, but... It was of no use. He could not empty the horn. So you are not as strong after all, it seems. Do any of you care to try anything else? The king of the giants said in a mocking tone. Oh, certainly, anything you like, replied Thor. Well, said the king, I will give you something easy this time, since I see you are not as strong as I expected. You may try to lift uh, this cat from off the floor. It will be mere child's play for one of my men. Thor put out his hand to lift the cat, but he could raise only one paw. Though he used all of his strength. Well, it is no more than I expected, said the king. You boast your strength, but you do not show it to us. By this time, Thor was getting very angry. 
he spoke fiercely. I will challenge any one of your men to fight me. The king looked about the hall to find someone small enough to wrestle with Thor. Then he said, all of my men are too large. I shall have to send for one of the women. So a bent old woman came hobbling in. And Thor thought it would be nothing to overcome her. But the longer they wrestled, the stronger the old woman became. At last, when it was plain she was going to win, Thor had been thrown to the floor and the king called for them to stop. Thor and his friends were invited to stay and sit down to a feast. The next morning, after a good breakfast, they started on their journey home. Utgard Loki, the giant king, went with them to the city gate. And when he was about to leave them, he asked, Did you find it as easy as you expected to overthrow the giants? No, said Thor, who was too honest to hide his shame. I am vexed that I have done so little. And I know that after this failure, you will all laugh at my weakness. Indeed, no, replied the king. Since you are now well outside of our stronghold, I will tell you the truth about what you saw there. And I will take care not to let you in again. You have greatly surprised us all, for we did not dream that you were so strong. I have had to use magic to hold out against you. When you met the first giant in the forest, you would have killed him with your hammer. If he had not put a mountain between himself and you. Loki was a wonderful eater, but we matched him against fire. And who can devour more than fire can? The boy was a swift runner. I had him make a race against thought in order to beat him. What can be swifter than thought? The horn from which you drank was the ocean. And you took such a mighty draught that the people of Midgar saw the tide ebb. It was really not a cat you tried to lift, but the Midgard serpent and you pulled him so far that I feared he would lose his hold. Then you wrestled old age. And who is there that can overcome old age? With these words, the giant king vanished. And Thor, upon looking around, saw that the city of Utgard was gone. Then silently, but with many thoughts of these strange things, Thor and Loki, the boy and the girl, made their way back to Asgard. Thank you for joining us for Thor's wonderful journey. Please like and subscribe, that really helps us out. And if you want more hands-on history activities, visit us at historyunboxed.com. We'll be putting out more videos regularly, so be sure to check back here often. In the Viking tradition, Mine Skull, Dine Skull, Alavacara Flicker Skull, My Health, Your Health, All Beautiful Ladies Health. Goodbye!